What is up guys, Allie here for another tutorial video. It's been a while since I've done one of these and a lot of people have been asking how the heck have you been streaming your Switch and all of this other stuff. So I finally wanted to make another tutorial guide on how I'm doing it. I know a lot of you guys are planning on streaming the Switch because there's a lot of big games coming out. You know, Odyssey, we got Stardew Valley, Breath of the Wild, Sonic, the new Pokemon game coming eventually. So I just wanted to make a quick little video on how you can do this and stream the Switch from your own little, from your own little world. <laughs> But anyway, so what you're gonna need is, first things first, you're going to need a capture card. I highly recommend the Elgato HD60S. They personally sent this to me. I highly recommend it. I'm not just saying that. I've been using their stuff for probably two years now. And I finally upgraded from my old capture card, my old Elgato. So shout outs to them. Highly recommend this. You're gonna need a capture card. And then second thing you're gonna need is a Nintendo Switch, which I would pick mine up out of the dock, but I don't want the video to go away. So you're gonna need a Switch. That is very important. You're gonna need some games for your Switch. And obviously you're gonna need a PC that can handle the load of the capture card, the Switch, running OBS. This is obviously specifically for OBS. Whatever streaming software you're using and you know your PC can handle streaming, all that sort of stuff. And the last thing you'll need, which is important, is the Elgato uh, software, which I will leave a screenshot or link to in the description, but you're gonna need that to initially set up your Elgato capture card and your Switch settings and all that sort of stuff. So how I have mine set up specifically with my Switch is I have the HDMI from the Switch, the HDMI cord <laughs> from the Switch, plug into the HDMI in and on the Elgato capture card. Then you obviously have the USB cord that came with the Elgato, plug that into it and then plug the other end into your computer. And then the last thing is I have an HDMI going out of my second monitor, HDMI cord. <laughs> I have an HDMI cord going out of my second monitor into the HDMI out of the Elgato. And that's pretty much how I have mine set up. Like I said, it doesn't really take too long to do. It's kind of like plug and play once you have the settings set up. I'll show you guys my settings for my Switch right now in the Elgato software. It's really important that you have these set up correctly and specifically because when you go into OBS and you add your video capture as your Elgato, if they don't match, then you might have some issues. So there are your Elgato settings. That's what you need to do first and foremost. And then second, what you want to do is add your Switch in as a video source or your Elgato. Add your Elgato capture card in as a video source on OBS. I will screenshot all of my settings and show it to you guys. But you want to put it in as a video capture, not a window capture because that's going to lag your computer a lot. It'll directly go into OBS, like input through OBS, which is really nice. And the nice thing about the Elgato is it doesn't have any delay. Personally, how I have mine set up is I have OBS on my main monitor and I have my Switch on my second monitor because, you know, I want to play everything in the super crisp HD and have a full view of it. So I have my OBS, my chat on my first monitor, Switch on my second monitor. If you don't have two monitors, as long as you have a capture card that has pretty much little to no delay, you can play through um, your OBS. But personally, like I said, two monitors is the way to go. Also, obviously, your Switch has to be in docked mode. There's no way currently to stream from it in handheld mode. I have heard Katsukitty, who makes, like, DS capture cards, I heard Katsukitty is trying to figure out a way to do handheld uh, capture, which should be interesting, to say the least. But I mean, yeah, pretty much all you had to do is you just plug in your Elgato, plug in all the cords into it from your Switch, plug it in your computer, set up the settings, and you're good to go. It's very simple. Um, that was something that I was really happy about was because I know some capture cards and some other setups they take like freaking an hour not really an hour but like they take a while to set up because you know there's so many instructions there's so many little things you gotta worry about but for this it's very simple very straightforward and then you know from there you can just go and stream all your switch games and have a blast okay I'll show you guys what Sonic Mania looks like real quick this game is really fun I highly recommend it in terms of um streaming switch games obviously in terms of like overlays and stuff like that because I know some people might ask what I recommend for that is just do something simple like this. Have a box for your webcam, or if you use a green screen, honestly, it's even better if you have a green screen. Um, but that's pretty much what I recommend doing. Just have a little small corner for your webcam, have your notifications set up somewhere, and maybe have like an events list from Streamlabs down below if you want people, if you want follows, subs, bits, etc. to show up, bit cup. It's really not that complicated. I think the more you put on your overlay in terms of like full screen games, the more complicated it can get. Um, but that's just from, that's just my, like, personal opinion. I, I know some people, I, I make overlays, I do graphic design, stuff like that, so. Wait, why isn't my... Why is it... Oh, there we go, my Joy-Cons weren't working for a second. I was really confused, but... This is how far I am in Sonic Mania, by the way. 
But um, yeah, that's pretty much the video. If you guys like it, make sure to uh, comment, like, subscribe. If you guys have any questions about the Switch, streaming from the Switch, the Elgato, etc., etc., please let me know. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. It's very straightforward, and hopefully you guys can, you know, get started and stream all of the Switch games that you want to stream. Uh, especially Odyssey, since a lot of people are streaming Odyssey now since it came out. But that's it, everybody. I'll see you guys around, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye!